the close attention I paid to the text, to his life, to his reading, have allowed me to see things from his point of view. The word he uses in his Dupin stories is identification. To the extent I've had success, I think it's because I've studied enough so that I've had an insight that allows me a new way to identify with Poe and thereby not only recognize a pattern, but anticipate a pattern. The great theme of his writing was loss. His loss of his mother his lo when he was two years, ten months old. His loss of his brother when Poe was in his twenties. And the loss of others he loved. He wove those losses through his work. Death and the memory of death. His phrase is mournful and never-ending remembrance. So he's not so much honoring the death as he's honoring the memory of the death. I think the theme of memory is woven throughout his work, from his poetry to his fiction to even his criticism. All of us have our sort of sanctified memories, and I think Poe's work works for us because of that connection. I started this work with the novel, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, with close reading trying to figure out the patterns of language in the novel, realizing that a particular phrase in that mysterious conclusion is occurring earlier and the identity of that phrase is key. A penguin, and the penguin is key, not so much because the animal is key as because the initial chapter concerns the coming of a ship named the penguin. And so we have that symmetry of events, first and last chapter, uh, again, the coming of the penguin. And that led me to a series of discoveries based on close reading with regard to his family, ultimately, uh, his mother uh, and his brother. His brother was critical because his brother is placed at the very center of the book and he is infinitely reflected by two mirrors which are represented by that penguin because it's said to have the spirit of reflection. And so Poe creates with the death of his brother on August 1st, in the center of the book, midway between two facing mirrors, mournful and never-ending remembrance, his infinite memory of the death of his brother. Chiasmus comes from the Greek letter chi, which is the X. And if you take the AB and you put beneath it the BA and you link the same letters, you get the X. And Poe po plays with this uh, chiastic structure, and, and I'm thinking of Xing a paragraph in particular. It was something that was natural to his uh, thinking, the, the pattern of chiasmus. I think we get something from it, even if we don't know the word chiasmus. There's something gorgeous about that reflection. The most famous example would be Kennedy's Ask Not What Your Country Can Do For You, Ask What You Can Do For Your Country. And Ted Sorensen was asked if Kennedy wrote that. And Ted Sorensen said, ask not. In terms of Poe, I think what we can take is a, an increased appreciation for his artistry. That's what I'm struck by. He was an amazing writer. He, he of course, suffered from alcoholism and sometimes was out of control. But as out of control as he sometimes was, he was a master when he was writing could write on multiple levels, could engage the ordinary reader even as he was creating a fascinating pattern of language for the close reader.